Okay, so the next part of the video that you're going to need is uh, to change change your glass wall back to a plastic, okay? And it, it's only for making it easier to work with in the assembly. So we'll have it saved, uh, we minimize that, and then go into the assembly. So we want to get our glass wall put in here. I know it's plastic, but we'll get it sorted. Insert component glass wall. Now, at the minute, it's back to front. Okay, so what we want to do is go to where it says move component, drop down menu, rotate component, grab the glass wall and turn it around. Now, doesn't matter if it's sitting in a strange angle, that's fine. Alright, I want to select that wall and hit mate. And what I want to do then is to come around, maybe second one down and make sure we're on the face and it brings that round like so. Uh, again, it's still sitting at a funny angle. Zoom into the bottom face of the glass. That's fine. Come out, and we're looking at the bottom face of the the floor here. Hit mate. It brings it down. Awesome. And then we want to come round to the back of the building. Click the back face and the back face of the slab. Brings it down. Awesome. Now, the only thing that isn't awesome at the minute is the fact that this is sitting with a, a material that is not see-through. So what we we'll want to do is put it into isometric, brings it around like so and we can see down into that. And it's brilliant looking. Okay. What we we'll want to do now is uh let's just check this out. Isometric view, there we go. Uh, what we want to do now is to have uh this change back in the glass, so we minimize our our uh, assembly. Put up our glass wall. That's plastic. Click on the glass. Drag our glass back out. Oh, don't do that. Do that. Click it. Hit file. Save. Minimize. It's going to come up and tell us that something has changed in our assembly. And there we go. And now we can see right through the building. Okay, so that's that one done. Amazing looking.